Good morning and half a day from the beautiful island of Guam. Welcome back to another vlog. Yes, lady. Um, we're on the road early this morning. Right now at 7 o'clock. I am on my way to Pacific Tire. Uh, if you guys caught the video the other day, you'll know that I took the Jeep to Take the shop right onto North Marine Drive, Marine Corps Drive. to have the front end rebuilt. And that I said I have to get an alignment. Continue on North Marine Drive for four kilometers. Well, I'm headed to get an alignment now at uh at Pacific Tire. This dude will be turning right here. Uh, I'm headed right now to go get an alignment at Pacific Tire. They open at seven and they start taking uh, customers for alignments at seven, but they stopped taking customers for alignments at 10. So I wanna make sure I get there, get in and get out so we can get on about our day. I don't know exactly what we're gonna be doing today. I don't have anything scheduled or planned. Man, that's a beautiful view. Unfortunately, you guys won't be able to see it if I flip the camera around. But I don't have anything planned for today, so I will find something to get into that will hopefully be interesting to all of you. But other than that, uh, I got another trip coming up within the next week or so. Uh, you'll get more vlogs from the Philippines. Uh, I'm thinking about going to the Clark area or Angeles City, Angeles City, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, there is, so the reason I want to go there is because the first time I ever went to the Philippines, that's where I was. That's my little bro. Hey, little bro, let me holler back at you. Give me about five. All right. It's my little bro, Free Jones. Uh, but yeah, I'll be headed to the Philippines again. I want to go to the Clark Air Base area because the first time I ever went to the Philippines, that's where I went. Uh, while I was in the military. So it would be interesting to see how that area looks now, whether or not it's developed. And, uh, you know, just to reminisce. But I don't know for sure what I'm going to do when I get there. You guys will just have to pay attention to the vlogs once I get there. But anyway, I'm not going to continue to babble. You guys just... Stay put, don't go nowhere. All right, so we just pulled up at Pacific Tire. Gonna go inside and uh, get everything taken care of. And I'm not sure how long it's gonna take, but I'm gonna wait for the vehicle because nothing's open right now. Although, Guam Premier Outlets is right across the street. It's not open. So maybe we'll go there after it opens up. I don't know, we'll find something to do. But let me go in here, take care of this, and I will cut you guys back on in a minute. That's crazy. Well, I can tell you, they ain't here. That's before I adjust it. Okay. <laughs> wow. It's all pretty bad. So. Yeah, I was just looking up. I guess it, this does have a sensors on it. I just didn't know because I bought it from someone else. Uh, it's somewhere under the front bumper. 
I don't think it'll make that big of a difference though, will it? It has either here or the mirror. The mirror has like a small yeah. square behind it. Yeah. Unless that's the one for if there's someone in front of you, it'll stop on its own. No, it won't do that. It won't? No. I, from brief, what I was just reading on the Jeep forum, it has sensors in it and it's supposed to flash in a mirror to let you know when something's yeah. next to you. But that's it. It hasn't worked since I bought it. I only had it three weeks. I mean, okay. three months. I just got it three months ago. So. <laughs> I don't use it, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> I trust my mirror. I trust myself looking in the mirror anyway. Yeah, more better than the sensor. <laughs> exactly. So apparently this Jeep has uh, blind spot sensors on it, unbeknownst to me. Uh, the guy came and told me earlier that his system detected them, but I didn't know anything about it because they haven't worked since I bought the Jeep. I don't think they worked when the previous owner had it either. So uh, he's got to do some readjusting I told him not to, if if you guys heard, I told him not to worry about it because I don't use them anyway. I'd rather check my mirrors myself or you know glance over my shoulder to make sure there's nothing in my blind spot than to trust the sensor. But anyway, he's gonna finish knocking this out and then we're gonna find something else to get into, so don't go nowhere. Alright, so they just finished the Jeep and to do the alignment was only $99 and like 98 cent. Sucks that I had to pay that money, uh, but I gotta do what I gotta do to make sure this thing's running half decent at least. But I'm um, thinking I'm probably going to get rid of it. I'll probably sell it for next to nothing and pick up another vehicle that will hopefully be more reliable. Because I don't want to have to do anything else to this vehicle. I don't want to spend another dime if I don't have to, other than putting gas in it. Are you going, what are you doing? Like, come on, shit, get your ass out the way. Well, I tell you, some people can't drive. She's going to stop in the middle of the intersection when she had the right of way. Anyway, we just pulled up at the mall. I might run through the mall, do some shopping. Who knows? May or may not buy anything. But I didn't want to just sit up in an apartment this weekend. I wanted to get out and do something, even though I'm going somewhere next weekend. Oh, it's a tattoo spot. I should go get a new tattoo. I'll save that for another day. Anyway, we'll just go to the mall. So it is the next day and I am just now getting off work. I ended up not recording inside the mall because one, I wanted to check the pulse and two, there wasn't a lot of action going on in there. I mean, there were a lot of people in there because there was a ship in town. But um, other than that, people, a whole bunch of people just walking around. It wasn't, there's nothing really to that mall. Um, so I didn't record anything, even though you guys might want to see what's in there. So maybe I'll go back one day and record the actual mall. But at that point in time, it wouldn't have been a good time because there was so many people in there, you could barely move. But anyway, now I am on my way to Home Depot. The uh, They got the... They got the, the front end of the, the truck fixed, so it's good to go. But now I have to make sure that I take care of the Hayabusa. And in order to do so, I gotta get a machine bolt uh, to go in my battery terminal. 
because my dumb ass dropped one of them down in the fairing and I can't get to it. And I don't have the tools that I need to take the fairings off, so I'm just gonna buy another machine bolt and put the battery in. So that's where we're headed right now. I'll probably record inside. Yeah, we're gonna record inside Home Depot. It shouldn't be that busy because it's a weekday. We'll see when we get there. So don't go nowhere. All right, we just pulled up at Home Depot and we have to go find this little guy right here. Hopefully they have one in here. Cause if not, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to uh, take my fairing off. And I will much rather just find another bolt than have to buy tools to take the fairing off. But there it is, you see, we're at Home Depot. So we're gonna run in here, grab this bolt real quick, and then uh, I'll drop the battery back on the higher booster tomorrow. I'm not gonna do it today, cause it's on base. And I'm not going back to the office. All right, so I had to stop and ask someone where the machine bolts are, and they're on row 17. We're gonna head there now. I'm gonna run B-roll because there's music playing in the background. I'm not trying to get hit with a copyright strike. So you gotta just check out this B-roll. So now that I made it to row 17, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this small bolt and check it against these right here. Now this looks like it should be this one, but we'll see. Yep, what do you know? That is it, so that's the perfect fit. Don't wanna drop that, so what we'll have to do is find this somewhere up here and it has to be this short so let me find this and i'll cut you guys back on while they play tina turner what's love got to do with it in the background all right so i got what we needed i had to get some assistance because these were in a drawer uh in one of the cabinets it wasn't up on the shelf so now that i've got this we are gonna go pay for this and then we're gonna get our asses back on the road and I'll deal with the bike tomorrow. I'm not gonna do it today. So I'll catch you guys as soon as I check out. Don't wanna get hit with copyright in this store.
guys, I'm almost at the crib. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Click the post notification bell and turn it to all so that you know when I drop a new video. With that, I'm out. Ugh.